everybody. Um, Elu MC here. It's been a long time. I'm not even sure if anyone's really paying attention to this channel anymore, but I guess we're going to find out. So, Minecraft released the update aquatic, or the aquatic update, the, the update with tons of new underwater goodness. And that's had me excited for a while, so it's kind of got me interested in starting Minecraft again. But I guess I have to address the elephant in the room. Where the hell have I been? Uh, so the short answer to that question is life. Um, and if I'm going to go into any more detail, basically the time I started making these videos was not only bad in terms of the YouTube environment, but in terms of my own life. Uh, I was getting engaged, uh, going through the process of buying a house and moving into said house, uh, getting married, and then just, you know, starting my life. Or <laughs> not starting my life, that's kind of a silly thing to say, but whatever. Doing all of those life things. And, yeah, again, the short answer is just this: these videos, making these videos, was just taking too much time. I put myself in the position where I decided that the best thing that I could do was take my favorite part of Minecraft, which was redstone, and try to, uh, like, I never really felt like I was that great at redstone, but I felt like maybe I could be, like, a middleman between the really advanced guys trying to understand what they're doing and reinterpreting it through some more, sort of, just sort of a basic explanation. Um, and then after a while, I started finding, you know, some guys on YouTube that were, like, they were kind of already doing that and doing it a lot better than I was. I just kind of saw myself doing something that wasn't at all necessary, and this channel wasn't really growing uh, at any alarming rate or anything. So I just decided, you know what? This is just something I can cut out of my life. So that's what happened. So I guess with that said, uh, I have to address why am I back? And I guess the short answer there is that I just like making videos, and things are a little bit quieter now, so maybe just you know, some, some room to do this, but the other thing is that I just don't, I guess, I mean, I have a little sheet here, cheat sheet of what I want to talk about, so the, the biggest thing is, like, what's my intention for this series, and it's, it's more of a really boring let's play, <laughs> and I think that's why I'm not afraid to kind of get back into the videos, because let's plays are really easy, so I'm just, I'm taking the easy route now, and that's something I've always enjoyed about Minecraft, is just starting a fresh world, and and seeing how well I can do and how quickly I can get started, what things I do different. So, um, I guess I should really kind of point out how much I've been playing since I left, and it's really not much. Um, when I stopped making Minecraft videos, I pretty much stopped playing Minecraft for a long time. Um, I only kind of briefly dropped in to check on, like, all the stuff I had done, and going, oh yeah, all this stuff, kind of a nostalgia kick, but never really playing it. And it wasn't until I started hearing murmurings of this uh, aquatic update that I was kind of like, hey, that seems really cool. Um, you know, what if I, what if I restart, restarted the, the channel with a Let's Play where it, the, the fun thing would probably be just how unfamiliar I am with the game. So I started that idea a while back, um, like six months ago, and I started playing 1.12 and getting... Unfortunately, a little bit too familiar. Because kind of, what I thought would be kind of the fun of all of this is, like, just how much I hadn't seen. Because I stopped playing after, like, 1.9. So there's a lot of things that had happened that I hadn't seen happen. So the fun here would be just, you know, what's what's brand new? It's, it's almost like a brand new game to me. So maybe you could get thrill out of seeing somebody who had just stopped playing Minecraft, you know, rediscover the game, basically. But... Yeah, like I said, I've been playing 1.12 off and on for the past six months and kind of just starting new worlds and getting used to what I would do. So I'm not terribly unfamiliar with what is, you know, what's new in the game. But that said, I have not played any of the snapshots for this new update for 1.13, so I don't know what's in this update. That's the amount of knowledge that I have about the game right now. So I've played 1.12. I haven't played any of the snapshots for this release. I don't know what's in it. Apart from, I saw one video about, you know, like sea turtles and stuff like that, and that there's puffer fish. I know those things, but I haven't played it, I haven't experienced it, so I don't know exactly what I'm going to get myself into. Okay, so now that we got all of that out of the way, um, I guess we should just talk about what I'm up to. And um, I ended up recording all of this audio in post. I did record some live audio, but 
the uh, volume just wasn't right. So I'm just going to kind of go with the flow here um, and try to clean it up a little bit. So the main objectives are basically to build a general mob farm over the ocean. Now, I didn't have an ocean nearby, so I have to go find one. It's hilarious. It's an it's a aquatic update. All of the new stuff's in the ocean. I have an ocean nowhere nearby. So I've got to go find an ocean. Um, so that means i got to go exploring. Um, I plan on building just sort of a general mob farm. Hey, look, lava. Yeah, so this is like the first nice surprise. I'm going to try to point them out when I... I find him. So I just basically dug down from my main base here and got lucky enough to find a, a cave system with some lava. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm actually hoping to find some diamonds. But anyways, back to uh, main objectives. Um, to build this general mob farm, I'm basically just thinking about basically a dark room with some water trenches for uh, mob collection and push them all into a central spot. So it's basically, I'm going to build basically about, I guess, a 20 by 20 um, uh, dark room with um, spawning pads that are basically 8x8. Eight eight. Each 8x8 eight eight spawning pad is going to be in its own individual chunk. Um, my hope is that that will increase the uh, spawn rates overall, just because you'll have four separate chunks within the, the dark room to actually tap into for spawn rates. Um, I think that optimizes the uh, spawn rate calculation, whatever. So, uh, four 8x8 eight eight pads separated by a 2 by a two-wide water channel on each one. You'll see the whole design when it actually gets going. Um, and then those will all be connected with trap doors so that the mobs will think that that's a, uh, you know, a, a surface that can be traveled on. So that's kind of a classic uh, general mob design, or general mob farm design. Um, so my intention is to build it out of wood um, simply because... I mean, you can collect a lot of trees early on, and for every tree block that you knock down, you get four wood planks, and then obviously you can get even more slabs, and then you're going to need it for trapdoors anyways, ladders, etc. It's just, it's an easy resource, just like, I'm going to go after this one thing, and I can get everything I need to build this mob farm, so collecting a lot of wood is important, so you'll see me several times here kind of head out and, and just just knock down a bunch of trees. I'm also setting the difficulty to hard here. Um, I was hoping that in a multiplayer game you could actually set it to hardcore. Uh, I guess you can't. Uh, I guess you got to do a little bit more wizardry in order to get that to work. Uh, but right about now, I'm about to discover the new, the new chess placement thing. So I'm just going to let that happen organically and naturally. Um, I'll just put it there. We'll put it. What? That's a thing. That is very interesting. I don't think I ever knew that. What? Is this a bug? Are, are double chests not a thing anymore? What am I doing? Oh! They must have made it a thing. This must be a new way for placement. It doesn't automatically, you have to, like, chain it. Okay, what does that mean? What does that mean? Does that mean... Hold on. Hold on. This could be revolutionary. Uh... Well, I don't need that many. Um... <gasps> you can! Chests can finally be put next to each other! Oh, that's amazing. That is just glory, glory day. Oh my gosh. This means you don't have to use redstone chest to make an item filter one wide. <laughs> Fantastic. That's great. That's a great thing. I'm very happy that they did that. Um, okay. <laughs> that said, let's get a lot of this stuff out of here. So anyways, another main objective that I need to get taken care of, um, if I'm going to be building a general mob farm, I'm going to be getting a lot of mobs and a lot of EXP, so I'm also going to use it as an EXP farm. Um, therefore, I should put it to use, so I should get a full enchantment table. So what that means is I need to get books, uh, so I need to either farm cows and sugarcane or find a village. Um, one happens over the other. Uh, the other thing is I need to get obsidian, so I need to get a diamond pick, so I need diamonds, and those are actually coming up here. Um, I get pretty lucky. So, um, very quickly, finding a village is also important in getting a sustainable food source going, which 
My favorite are potatoes. So the hope is that I can go exploring, find a village, and get some bookshelves and potatoes. <gasps> Diamond! Yes. Does it look... It looks a little bit like they kind of changed the color a little bit. It looks good. So I'm going to need five diamonds initially, and guess what I get? Five diamonds! Beautiful, because I can make a pick now, and I can harvest some of that obsidian. Getting back to the sustainable food source, obviously there are a lot of things you can do for food in this game, but um, like I said, I like potatoes, so I do need to find a village, or I could get lucky with a zombie, but that also could come from the general mob farm. Once I get that going, I might be able to get one from a zombie. So the final objective on my list is to make a bed, because for obvious reasons, I if I die, I don't want to you know have to find my base again. But you know it's it's also good when I start to go exploring that I can put a bed down and you know change night to day. Um, so I'm out and about right now collecting wood, and I end up being kind of observant. So I'm gonna try to just recreate the fun part here because I I am keeping my eye out for cows, and I just spotted them there, there off in the distance. Um, now. Cows would be great for leather, um, and then you need to start farming sugarcane if you want to make books. Um, the other option, obviously, like I said before, is to find a village so you can get a bookshelf going. Um, but I do have a good moment here where I notice the new coloring of the water, so I'm going to let that roll with live audio nearby so I can make a bed. I like what they've done with the water. The water looks nice now. I mean, it looked nice before, but it's just, it's a nice, like, Oh, it's just like a, a faded blue and it's a little easier on the eyes I can't wait to see an ocean at this point so yeah it's definitely hilarious that there isn't an ocean nearby in this world seed that I picked but um yeah so the last objective that I'm working on right now is just getting a bed going so I craft some shears and decide to head out in the middle of the night to shear some sheep that are nearby which again I was kind of keeping tabs on those things um, and make a bed and then that's going to be it. I think, really, this is, a, this is a good point to kind of stop and pause for the next episode. So, thanks for watching, anybody who is watching. I know it's been a long time, and this is a little strange way to kind of come back to making videos. But, hey, I think it's going to be kind of fun. Um, um, I, I just kind of enjoy doing it. I like learning new things about uh, video editing every now and then. And... Um, I like playing Minecraft, so I figured this was kind of a win-win situation. Um, I'm going to try to make these videos um, fairly regularly. Um, I've basically just been recording uh, a big chunk of gameplay, and then I'm editing it down. and We'll just see how that all goes. So if you guys are interested, stick it out. Let me know. Uh, if you're not, I don't care. I think I'm just going to do this because I think it'll be fun to kind of document this whole experience of 1.13.